perform a bareback bridalist routine and it's just a series of asking my horses to perform and and do certain things with without using any ties or halters or leads um, it's just all body language and verbal commands the act that I started performing in 2010 involved my two black horses Sunny and Zayada or we call them Z and uh, basically what I do is I uh, ride Z out into the arena with no bridle or saddle or anything on and I perform a whole series of spins and stops and backing up and just showing the control that um, I have over him with my body language or with my body cues and um, and then I lay him down in the middle of the show and ask Sonny out and work Sonny at liberty and circles around him switching directions controlling speed and um, and the finale of the act ends with with Sonny side passing over top of Z as he's laying down and then we do a big rear for the finale. Liberty work is, is based all on the relationship that you have with your horses. It's a big, you know, time commitment working with the horses, but it's, it's unlike anything I've ever done and I, I mean, I love it. I get to spend my days working horses and just hanging out with them and figuring them out and I think that the biggest part of it is trying to figure out how to communicate with them in a way that they understand. Patience, persistence, perseverance, three words that Nikki Flunder has carried with her since she started performing with horses at age 15. And when a freak accident left her without one of her performance partners, those three words never had more meaning. I was performing at the Calgary Stampede with one of my Liberty horses in the opening of the Stampede and I had left the other one at home uh, and I got a phone call seven days into the stampede uh, saying that my other horse had um, taken a fall out in the pasture. I guess it was slippery and, and it had been raining and he had broken his leg badly and it ended up that we had to have him put down. After you spend that much uh, time with, with them, it feels like you lose, it's like losing your best friend. It's kind of like you lose a little bit of yourself and don't really know where to go from there and and I told my husband I probably spent more time with that horse than I had um, with him. <laughs> so yeah, it was that was kind of a tough thing to get through. With performances already booked throughout the rest of summer, Nikki had to call upon a four-year-old colt she calls Ace to take Sonny's place in the Liberty Act. I have been so fortunate to have a four-year-old gray horse that I've started working with. I bought him at a horse sale last September and I immediately started, um, started with the Liberty work um, at that time with him. So I brought him a fair ways. So when, when I lost Sunny, I had to ask Ace to step up into the show. The first show that I did back, I, I did sort of feel like Sunny was there. Like, I, it sounds crazy, and and I sort of told Ace that, you know, Sunny was going to be telling him what to do, and he would be able to handle it. And, and um, yeah, I think he's probably up there somewhere rearing and shaking his head and acting like Sunny. My hopes for the Liberty Act is to um, just, just keep on doing what I'm doing. I have so much more to learn. Um, working on getting a couple of more, a couple of new horses right now so that I can um, add another team. And I just want to keep growing and more and bigger and better as I go. <laughs>